Hi, this is a Dometic CFX3 75 litre dual zone fridge. Twin compartment fridge, ideal for extended holidays, large groups, or that really big getaway. So let's check it out. It. Hi, I'm Kevin and welcome to Snowy's Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk to you about the CFX3 75 litre dual zone fridge freezer. The first thing you'll notice is of course it's got two lids. That's because it has two compartments. Both of these compartments uh, can be operated either as a fridge or a freezer, or both fridges and both freezers. All right, let's have a quick look inside these fridges. Now you've got two compartments, 40 litres in that one, 35 in the other, total of 75 litre capacity. Both have got baskets which are easily removed, you can take them out, easy for cleaning. You've got a little bung in the bottom there so that you can drain the fridge, you've got water in it. Pop that one back in. You've also got a divider here which allows you to divide the food in the basket. And on this side it's the same sort of thing, you've got a basket in the top and a basket in the bottom. And once again a little bung down the bottom to allow the fridge to drain. Now the walls are made with an insulation of CFC free polyurethane. And of course you've got lights on both ends which come on when the lid opens. All up you can put about 113 cans of drink in here and quite easily put in a tall bottle of coke or a bottle of wine and then just close the fridge down and you're set to go. I just want to show you how easy it is now to remove the lid. This helps you with the cleaning. Now all you have to do is get a hold of the lid and just firmly bend it backwards and it comes off quite easily. You've got two stainless steel hinges here and you've got stainless steel pins in there which you can easily put the lid back on again by slotting it back over the pins. A decent bump with the hand on both sides and you can close the lid down. The fridge has an exo frame of polypropylene and on the outside here you've got cast aluminium handles which are very strong and ideal for towing it down. The dimensions of this fridge are that they 89.2 centimetres long, we've got a width of 49.5 centimetres and a height of 47.2 and it has a weight of 27.8 kilos. In here you've got the Dometic compressor, it usually runs at about 3.8 uh, amps with a maximum draw of 9.6 amps. You've got two power inlets here, one is for the mains power and the other one is for the 12 volt. Now for the mains power it simply plugs in like so and of course for the 12 volt plug once again it just plugs in very easily into there. And on the other end of the 12 volt plug you've got a little fuse in there so if you happen to blow a fuse it's just very easy to unscrew the end, take the fuse out and replace it. Okay at this end of the fridge we've got the control panel. Now just a couple of simple things I want to show you first. First of all you've got a little USB port here which can charge up your phone or some other device uh, off the fridge while it's running. Now this fridge will run at a temperature rating between 10 degrees and minus 22 depending on what you've got to set at. Now I'll just run through the control panel, just got to have a little bit of a play around with it, I've got to admit I'm not an expert on this part. Yeah, as you've got here you can see I've got both sides of them are operating, that's the current temperature inside the fridge. If I go OK it goes back up to set temperature. Now what we need to do first of all is go down until we have zone control. Turn that on, now here you can choose to have them both on, have just the large one on or just the small one on. So we'll show you the, the one where you have the both on, push OK and this will go back up to set temperature, OK. You can see now we've got both compartments here. Depending if I push it, that button or that button, you can see it's switching from one to the other. The one with the blue is the one that I'm temperature altering. I can go down or up depending. Push OK, it flashes back to set temperature. Push OK again, you can see I've got them both are, um, brought up on the screen there. Once again I'll push the button down, this time I want that one to be altered. So I hit OK, there's the temperature, I can go down once again or up, push OK and there it is back into set temperature. If I go back down even further to zone control again, OK, both on. Here I can actually swap it and go down to the large one on, or the small one. I'll just show you the large one for now. Push it OK, goes back up to set temperature, OK again. You can see just one is illuminated, which means that's the large compartment altered. I can now go down or up with temperature, push OK, and that's the temperature set. One of the other things I want to show you quickly is the battery protection. If I go down to the battery protection symbol, it's OK, you can see you've got low, medium, high. Now I can move that to low, to medium or high, which means low protection, medium protection or high protection. Click OK and that's what the fridge is now set to. I just want to quickly talk to you about battery protection. Now 
as I showed you on the uh, control panel, there are three levels, low, medium and high. Low protection means low voltage, which means the fridge will cut out at a much lower voltage from your battery. High protection means high voltage, which means it will cut out at a much higher rate of voltage. That would be great for, say, your starter motor of your car, so you don't run out of power. The next day you're not going to have a flat battery. Medium protection, well, that depends on what you've got in there as a battery, how old the battery is, what its capacity is. You need to work that out and see which is the best for you. So that's all I can tell you today about the CFX3 75 litre dual zone fridge freezer from Dometic. If you want any more information about this fridge or any other fridges, go to our website, snowies.com.au, where we have the lowest prices every day. So we're going to see some more of this, subscribe up here. If you have any questions, leave a comment down here. If you want to check out any more videos, have a look over here.